The All Father here today bringing you an attack review uh, on a newer strategy that is the HPHB. Not the HGHB, but the HPHB. That's right, we're going to try to make P.E.K.K.A.s great again with the healer P.E.K.K.A. Bowler Hog strategy here. And we're going to take a look at a couple of friendly replays here using the strategy and uh, make some recommendations based on that. And at this point... I'm not 100% sold on this strategy, but doesn't mean that it can't be used. But we'll take a look at the basic army composition here. Uh, you're going to use a couple of funneling troops here. We're going to be bringing two baby dragons, a couple of wizards. The main kill squad of this attack is going to be your three P.E.K.K.A.s and three healers, followed by your heroes, clan castle bowlers, and we're going to bring double poison for the clan castle spell combination you can work with. Right now we're using two rages, one heal, one jump spell to get through the base. So we'll take a look at how this strategy plays out you can see we're just going to use the dragons obviously the babies to go ahead and create a funnel and uh, the difficult part with this strategy because you're using pekkas and not giants is pekkas target any closest building where giants are defense targeters and so the funnel creation is a little not a little it's a lot trickier so um, if you're not a good funnel creator this is not the attack for you and if you can't adjust on the fly to an attack this is not a good attack for you but now you can see here that whole side of the base there is basically taken out with the bowlers, the heroes, and uh, now the P.E.K.K.A.s went ahead and targeted the queen there. Now this is exactly what we want. The healers are targeting the P.E.K.K.A.s, keeping them at full health, and the bowlers are running around the outside, which isn't exactly ideal, but it's not the end of the world either. Clan Castle Pops, we're going to double poison them, use that rage spell to kind of work everything through there. We've got Quad Tesla's there, which is normally the death of P.E.K.K.A.s. But with those healers, it's going to go ahead and keep them up. That jump spell is going to go ahead and take them towards that uh, second air defense, which they would hopefully take out before the healers go down. They do. And so now the healers go back to work, getting those P.E.K.K.A.s healed back. Look at that that health on those P.E.K.K.A.s. And they go ahead and trip the double giant bomb set, allowing the hogs to come in surgically and take out some of those outer defenses. Healers are still working on the P.E.K.K.A.s, healing them up to full strength, they do go down, that air defense hits them before the hogs can get to it, but uh, that heal spell is going to go ahead and keep the hogs going as they work across the BK there. And uh, just a few remaining defenses left. The P.E.K.K.A.s are working their way into that final compartment. Wizards are on the outside cleaning up trash. Two hogs at the end there to go ahead and take out that last archer tower. Flip traps there, take out some hogs. GB hits the queen, but uh, we've got a couple troops left and the Biggest thing is we've got two P.E.K.K.A.s left there. They're going to go ahead and aggro onto the B.K. Two shots on him. He's going to be down. And there he goes. We've still got two P.E.K.K.A.s left and Wizards cleaning up as well as a Hog and an Archer Queen. And uh, so it's slow moving like the HGHB. You do have to be patient with it and kind of use that Surgical Hog method. Um, but the nice thing is you've got some high level, high hit point troops there left at the end that can take out some buildings. Um, it is slow, but it is powerful as well. And so there we see a anti three star base with some quad tessels and two double giant bomb sets being taken out by the HPHB attack. Taking a look at another base here, again, another anti three star war style base. And same exact army composition here that we're working with. You can tweak it to your liking, but again, you can see using those babies on that spread out base to go ahead and create a nice funnel, get a lot of buildings taken down uh, before they get it, uh, targeted by too many things there. And they're going to go ahead and take a lot of those buildings out. And as you're doing this, just remember how P.E.K.K.A.s work. They go closest building, so uh, you want to kind of guide their path. So you see there we have Lix Drill, uh, Dark Elixir Drill, and then they're going to go and start pathing towards those defenses. Once you get them where you want them, the heroes go down the bowlers, and we're going to go ahead and rage into the base, dealing with the Clan Castle troops and those initial defenses um, but you can just see how hard it is to funnel they want they don't really know where they want to go here everything's going in the middle and we think we're good and then all of a sudden they start drifting out towards the edge of the base again uh, which is not ideal um, but there we've got the jump spell redirects them to the middle another rage spell but again you see the bullies they just want to go outside they see those buildings out there they want to get them so uh, quickly dropping those wizards out there to try to get those bullers redirected but for some reason the bullers just want to go outside uh, but it, the attack is working like it's intended there the healers are latched onto the heroes as well as the pekkas so we've got three 
Pekka's doing pretty well at relatively full health. The targeted hogs coming in on the outside, relatively un... Uh, hindered there. The Pekkas are doing a ton of tanking, going in there taking care of the enemy queen so that the hogs aren't at risk of being attacked by her. And uh, But now we've got an issue in the middle. We've got a lot of defenses left. We've got a whiz tower farm at the end, and we still got five hogs left and a heal spell. So at this point, uh, it's just a matter of patience, letting those bowlers work around and letting everything kind of meet up together uh, towards the end for that final push. Uh, Pekka's break outside. Now they've got the Pekka's leading the way with the bowlers behind, which is what we want. Queen is being targeted here. She still has her ability. Those last couple hogs are going to pick off that cannon. And then there's just the one compartment left under heel with the hogs, Pekka's, and bowlers. And it's all over for that base. And so you can see left we have uh, four of our bowlers out of five, two Pekka's, Queen, and some hogs. And uh, again, high level base taken out relatively with the HPHB. And one last one here we're going to take a look at, and that is uh, Town Hall 9.5 attack with some 20 uh, level 43 combined heroes here. Uh, but same concept here, going to attack from a corner there using those baby dragons to go ahead and create that funnel. Pekkas are going to go in, they're going to hit the lab, then they're going to hit the hut, then they're going to hit that army camp. Then they should go to the core, the uh, bowlers are launched there, and everything should attach onto that Tesla and work its way into the base. Uh, and so everything right here is going exactly the way it's supposed to. Those bowlers take out those defenses, and then they walk around the outside because that's what they do. And that's the downside. Uh, maybe need to bring some wall breakers or something with this attack as we're tweaking it out. Um, because it seems like you need to be able to direct those bowlers to the inside of the base. They don't really want to do it. So maybe some wall breakers will help do that. But that rage spell goes ahead and gets in there, takes out the AD, allows the healers to go ahead and rage, heal all that kill squad. Everything's going into the middle. That jump spell is going to access the T farm, Tesla farm in the middle there, as well as the expos. And the uh, wizards are going to go ahead and take out some of those outside buildings. Um, again, that rage spell. And so we have the heal spell left. Targeted hogs coming through, going to kind of help pick out some of those outside buildings. Uh, we have not seen giant bomb sets yet, and so we got to be careful with the surgical on the hogs to make sure that we do not run them across double giant bomb set. But you, again, you can see how powerful it is. The Pekka's got in there and took out all those Teslas for the most part, as well as tripped uh, giant bombs in the middle there. So everything's working together nicely. It's all going to kind of come together at the end here. Once those bowlers break through the wall, they're going to lead the way for the queen. Hogs are going ahead and sniping, targeting defenses surgically. And uh, that last heal spell there is probably a little premature and not real valuable because there's only a couple hogs using it and two out of the three got flipped. Uh, but now those ones that ran across the giant bomb get healed back up. There's one left and uh, just a couple defenses left. So we'll go ahead and fast forward it to the end here. Um, but uh, again, a higher level base, higher level heroes. And uh, we still have a P.E.K.K.A., some bowlers, and the queen left with just one uh, whiz tower in the way. So that still ends up working out pretty good. And they're not going to have any problem taking out that last building. So there you go. There's three versions against three different three star anti-three-star war-style bases using the HPHB strategy. Now, as far as my recommendation... Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you what kind of base at this point works best for this attack. It's a difficult funnel. It's hard to control the troops. And at this point, I think there's just a lot of better attacks that are more controllable and more consistent for three stars. But uh, just wanted to do a review on this attack, show it to you, give you a chance to try it out. Go ahead and leave comments uh, if you find some better strategies or different army compositions that work well for you. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more attack strategy reviews as new attack strategies develop for Town Hall 9 and others. Make sure to smack that like button, share it with your clan mates. You can also follow, follow us on Twitter at Clash with TAF. That's at Clash with T-A-F. Until next time, this is the Allfather. Thanks for watching.